aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what's up guys and of course welcome back to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle which is of course a scavenger and we want up against Greenscrafty or Rudy who is of course a longtime friend really in the quote-unquote community uh, known him of course from LBA and just got to know him really throughout time and he's a very good person in general so really appreciate having of course Wi-Fi battling him because he's a very good Wi-Fi battle also uh, having that said my team here is a bit of a mixture because it was definitely different before the tier change, but I didn't um, necessarily did all the wave patches I needed to do. Beware and Tarantrum is new for this team though. Outside of that we have Mudsdale, Espeon, Miss Medius, and Vicavolto, Miss Medius of course being with the uh, Ghost UMC. Uh, the reason, or the, the Pokemon that were before this team were, uh, es I was gonna say Espeon, but no, I mean Entei and Haxorus. Um, Tarantrum does fit the bar as Hexorus, but uh, beware is no Entei and uh, just kind of, um, I'm kind of wide open for fairy moves, so that's something I didn't necessarily see until I saw my opponent's team here, which of course be in Heracross, which is awesome, slacking uh, Confagricus, Umbreon, Espeon himself, and of course Comfy, because that's not an annoying Pokemon that I, I love that mon, everybody knows that. But yeah, from the get clear, I felt that the SPR could be a possible lead. Um, so I'm going to lead off with Mudsteel, which of course is a Soul Vested. Mudsteel can do a pretty decent job here, though it definitely is no heavy hitter. So really, with all that said, let's of course go into the match. So right, from the get go here, Rudy's going to start off with Heracross, which I felt was fair. Heracross can not do too much to me, though it will win the situation, but... I thought that, you know, whatever, I can just go for, of course, a heavy slam, and he felt, yeah, that seems very likely. So he's gonna switch out, not gonna take that hit, as King Lut, or Tut, is gonna come in, which, of course, being the Confedicus. We don't do too much damage to it, but it's clearly a defensive mon, and um, I can just switch in, of course, Espeon here. I was really feeling that it's very likely he could go for a Will O Wisp, and if so, then, of course, we can retaliate that, but he doesn't fall for it. Rudy clearly knows what he's doing and just gonna go for Hex directly and it's gonna do a heavy chunk of damage on me Though the thing is here. I have no reason of re actually remaining my Espeon as long as I can I I'd rather get the damage on the Confagricus and hoping I could bait him I'm actually gonna go for a psychic as he goes to darkness, which of course is uh, clearly the darkness <laughs> and um, He won't be affected by the psychic and I won't take a risk here. I won't go for dazzling gleam and I'll just go to Geisen, being of course the Vicar Vault, as he switches out and goes to his uh, own Espeon. Now here's the thing, Bug Buzz is a KO, I kind of felt that that was super super obvious, so I stayed in and went for Thunderbolt, predicting him to switch out. That did not transpire sadly, though Thunderbolt does do a good chunk of damage, but it's very likely now that another Psyshock will be coming my way. And uh, trust me on this, I'm not going to appreciate that, so I'm just going to switch out to Rygard. Or, of course, my mud steel, because Psyshock basically gonna raise my defense, plus I am defensive, which means that I can take any hit Espeon will throw at me. So, so at this point, I'm kinda good. I'm, I'm kinda good here. As it goes from that Psyshock, surprisingly, I should say, mainly because, of course, because of stamina boost, Psyshock does less and less, and I think he actually mispredicted that, as Heavy Slam will just annihilate the Espeon. Now, uh, that's great and all, Espeon out of the way, that's a major threat for me, of course, out of the way. So he's going to bring Posey, and um, yeah, I'm just going to give up on my uh, mud still here. There's no way of me actually preserving it. But he's actually going to pull a double and go in actually to Confagricus. And that's all right with me. I'm just going to go for another Heavy Slam, clearly. And uh, at this point, I will be able to outspeed, so I can just safely go for an Earthquake. And... Um, at this moment, I was trying to, like, get into, of course, my opponent's head, uh, Rudy, you know, what, what is he trying to do? A running kiss would clearly have KO'd me, as he switches actually out again and actually go to slacking as I go for the Earthquake. And here is where it gets a little weird. Uh, I knew I was Pursuit Trapped here, so I'm just gonna stay in. Uh, and I actually went for an Earthquake, I was not, I was not thinking I would survive this. Because I do have close combat, clearly I did not go for it, as Earthquake will of course make Slacking survive, and um, all I can say is, damn, <laughs> I had no idea after two stamina boosts that 
the mud tail just don't give a shit. As um, Rudy is gonna go for the break, break blitz. Was a break neck blitz? I can say that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Slacking is doing the boy sign, if anything. As of course, just gonna flatten mud tail, who clearly should have died to pursuit, quite honestly. You know, it's quite alright, as I just gonna bring in Mabel, you know, of course, my Espeon, because I need to be able to have speed here, and I don't wanna risk it with my Miss Mages, as I'm just gonna go for Dazzling Gleam, just KO Slacking, and hey, lag. Awesome. Um, so anyway, I think it recovers. There we go. Uh, he's gonna bring in Poise here, and I was feeling it's very likely that the Coal Mine is coming my way, and if that's the case, then so be it. As I just go for a Psychic, damn, it chugs. I'm really sorry about this, guys. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better. Anyway, he goes for the Coal Mine, and uh, like I said, there's really nothing I can do. I can kind of just expect the Draining Kiss coming my way, and. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of a mistake here because in, instead of afterwards actually going for Beware, who clearly can one shot his Pokemon, I'm actually going to be a bit of a memeable move. Uh, I was actually be basically feeling it, though. I really, really want to go for that never ending nightmare with Nebula. Uh, feeling that, you know, this is a clean KO even after Draining Kiss. And I do believe that's a fair assumption that, you know, even after one call mind, Miss Major should be able to KO this Pokemon without really any issue. And uh, it is an issue. Comfy, for some freaking reason, is always bulky enough to, you know, stay on top. And the never ending nightmare is not a KO. And what makes this worse is that. Um, I basically have no way of actually attacking this Pokemon properly and KOing it. So it, it feels kind of strange because I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball here. Clearly Draining Kiss does exactly 45 damage every time. And <laughs> he gets so much HP back. And of course Shadow Ball is not securing anything. And I'm just getting really, really stressed out that this Comfy just defensively just exists, basically. It's, it's some kind of limbo where I can't touch it and he's gonna take down on Miss Magius and it really is chunky here, I'm sorry about um, about all of this didn't see that it was recording clearly clearly my PC is showing its age now, I really need to buy a new one um, thank you kind uh, recorder so anyway I'm just gonna send in Troy here, I'm just gonna pop this Pokemon, there's no way in hell I can do anything else uh, as he goes to Draining Kiss he's gonna get actually full HP um, you know, so it's definitely now in a capable area, but there's a thing, it's a beware, you die, that's, that's the wrap up. So anyway, he's gonna actually send in here across and I feel like, oh yes, close combat is not a KO since I am fluffy, and he realized that as switches out, uh, but my main issue here is that I really don't have a switch in here, I kinda need to sack beware, and since my Tarantrum has Lumberry, I kind of want to bait the Kofericus to, of course, go for the will o -Wisp versus that. So knowing that, I'm just going to go for a turn, as I kind of realize here that, or rather, Rudy told me he doesn't have any attacking move outside of will o -Wisp to actually affect <laughs> Beware, which is kind of awful. Uh, knowing that, though, I'm just still going to stay in, basically, because I need to actually sack my Beware, and if it sw switches in here across, then I can actually roost against it because there's no way a plus one close combat can KO me. So that's good to know at least, or rather there's a very small chance of that happening. So uh, close combat is going to go through, of course, killing the beware. Um, now that my HP got lowered, clearly. <laughs> Two burn turn was kind of enough, but that's the thing though, beware really, really, really is good at soaking. So right, knowing that of course that I can take another of course of these close combat, just gonna send a Vicky Volt, go for a roost, force him out, as um, close combat is clearly enough to kill me. I actually calc this afterwards, it was actually a 3 to 7% chance of him KOing me at plus 1, so my mistake, the roll was not in his favor, but he got it, so that's actually kinda cool. So my last Pokemon is of course Hexers, and now a plus 2 here across with Scarf is in front of me, which means that, you know, I lost. So, <laughs> so kind of anticlimactic, I was kind of aiming for something else here, I was really hoping uh, that I was going to wrap up the game, but that did not happen the way I was imagining. But that said though, I have a really, really blast here versus Rudy. So Rudy, thank you of course so much for the battle, 
really really great stuff and yeah that was that was an interesting game definitely so yeah a small rundown basically I'm I kinda wanna explain my comfort situation now here's the thing when you play Wife of Elegance of course friends you you don't you don't pay too much attention uh, I actually forgot that the Espion was dead by that default so I kinda sacked Miss Majors knowing that Espion would win against it 1v1 but yeah, you know that that's a thing, but that's really hardly matters as we could see across was scarf. But I could have gone for a nasty plot and go for never ending nightmare. That would have secured my KO. I don't know why I didn't do that. There was no reason for me not pulling that off. And to quite honestly, if I I'm gonna be honest with myself, I was just dumb. But even with that said, you know, clearly Rudy had a rough time with of course the mud stale in you know, pursuit and slacking, and I, I actually don't go for close combat with mud, so it's kinda of dumb too. But at the same time, as stated, when you play against friends, you kind of don't, you you don't overcomplicate things. You just do it for hell of it. And quite honestly, I think I got a pretty decent showcase of my Pokemon, and I definitely believe Rudy got that too. And hey, what a comfy cameo! That Pokemon need to stop being my Wi-Fi battles because that's just the worst. I I hate that mod. I never thought a freaking Freaking string of flowers would, could give me so much trouble, but here we are. Third game is I see it, and third game it gives me trouble. Just my luck. Uh, anyway, guys, of course, thank you as always for of course watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and you know stuff like no sh the view whoring is real. Anyway, guys, I see you next video. Until then, of course, take care. Bye.